baby, won't you meet me by the Early, baby, later, you can show me things. What's up, you guys? It's Alyssa here, back with another video. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back with another video. I haven't done that in a long time, y'all, and it feels good to do it. It feels good to be back to do it. But anyway, today is a motivational video, an encouraging video. As you can see by the title, it's called You Are a Walking Light. Honey, you are a light to this world. A light. You're a star, honey. You are a star. God created you, and you are such a beautiful creation. Like, is giving beautiful is giving greatness is giving greatness is coming honey is giving your destiny is giving purpose you know but before we get into the video make sure that you like comment and subscribe to your girls channel for some bonfire and lit content okay and let's get right into the video all right so the first tip that i have is the fact that your testimony shows it all that's why you're walking light Honey, everything that you don't been through throughout your life, just know that that is all for your purpose and God allowed it to happen for a reason. To show his goodness of it. To show that he can bring you through anything and get you through anything. Whether it was your mistakes, something from your past, whether you're dealing with something right now in the present, just know that God gonna make a way, he gonna help you, he gonna work it out. He gonna work it out, honey. Your testimony is something powerful. I have a video on this. Your testimony is powerful. It can impact the world and help many, many people. You don't have to be some world benign pastor or speaker or whatever it might be. But honey, just by you going around talking to your friends or to your family members or whoever it might be, you just never know who you're going to bump into. And you may feel that um, type of feeling from the Holy Spirit or whether or not someone might ask you for, for advice. And you'll be able to share your testimony with someone. Just know that your testimony is powerful to help others. And not only to help others, use that your testimony as motivation for yourself. Look like, oh, you know, I've been through all this. It just shows how strong I am. How beautiful of a person I am. I'm God's creation. And that really, really matters. You are a walking light. You matter. You really do matter. Your life is very, very important. And like briefly, but with my testimony, what I went through, literally, like, Years back, I look back and I'm just like, oh my goodness, like I went through that. Not only did I go through that, but like you would never think, like, same thing with you, like you never you would never think that someone would, would have gone through what they're going through, whether it's me or you or whoever. You just never know. Wanna know why? Because when you come out of the fire, it's like you haven't even been touched. You haven't even been touched. It's like nothing touched you at all. Sometimes God brings you through it. So that when you come out of it, it's like you haven't even been touched at all. Unless you have wounds and scars, but you can barely tell it. Because that's how good God is. The next thing I want to talk about is the fact that look all about, look how you were created. How God created you and everything about you. That's why you are walking light. Literally, everything about you is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Your personality, who you are as a person, your character, everything about you is such a beautiful thing. Or are beautiful things. Everything about you is greatness. You gotta believe that and you have to know that. I know you may expect others to want to do it, whether you're a female like myself and you may have just wanted to expect men or like how I was in high school like I want to expect boys to tell you that they like you or tell you that you know you're pretty or you're beautiful like honey you're already beautiful you don't need a man or a guy to come tell you that you're beautiful know that you already are beautiful like God loves you he's our heavenly father what does he say about you he says you're beautiful and that's what really really matters that's all that matters and back to loving everything about yourself, love what you have to offer to this world. You have so much to offer to this world. So much. There's so much greatness about you. So much greatness about you. Like, you don't need someone or try to expect someone else to come in and tell you that you have a lot to offer to this world or you are a beautiful person. Like, build your confidence. Build your motivation. Build that strength and that faith not only in God but believe in yourself believe in yourself that you are capable of great things you are so capable of great things you have a purpose you're meant to be here for a reason 
and that's really matters really is what matters the next thing and i want to talk about is that you are a walking light just by spreading the gospel and trying to be more christ-like i know that that can be tough like it's it's hard to you know want to you know be a better person for yourself and to be able to you know spread the gospel throughout the world you're afraid of what people might think because of your faith and your faith in god and you're afraid to you know go out in the world and want to you know spread the gospel but honey i'm not telling you or you don't have to just go around just screaming like this 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 that like no but if you have the conviction and like you know that it's on your heart for you to tell someone like jesus loves you or god loves you or you are important like that's the beauty of it all is the fact that jesus loves all of us and we are all important you are a beautiful christian too because jesus looks at you and like you know what she is so beautiful you are god's child that's the main reason why you're walking light you are his precious masterpiece like remember when you spread the gospel about god and you know you go around and exemplify and um kindness and you exemplify you know caring you know behavior or you exemplify you know um a heart like posture like having a heart for others and helping others and encouraging others that's what god loves to see we need that in this world we need so much love within this world no judgment no anger no bitterness no hate no trying to, you know, no jealousy, no envy, like none of that. We don't need none of that within this world. We need love and care and kindness, helping others and being there for others. That's what we need throughout this world. And even if you have done those things or you are involved in those things, understand that you still are forgiven. And you can change that. You can change that. God is not mad at you because you have done some things in the past and or you may have been doing things that you know you shouldn't have been doing or you're engaging in things that may not be of God or whatever it might be. Like, no, God still forgives you. He's welcome all of us with open arms. He welcomes all of us with open arms. You are still welcome. God still loves you regardless. There's nothing that you can do or change the fact that God still loves you. It's not according to our doings. It's not according to what we have done or may not have done or how we act. Well, God just loves us because we are his children. He, he created us. That's what mainly what matters. That's what matters the most. Like the fact that God just loves you. Like you're so beautiful. You're such a walking light. You just let your light shine. That's one thing I want to say. What it says in Matthew, don't, I don't know. I think it's Matthew 5:44. Matthew 5 14 says you are the light of the world a town bit on a hidden of the hill cannot be hidden and then it says in Matthew 5 16 in the same way let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven you know how sometimes you got that glow on you honey and people just like why are you so happy all the time or so joyful all the time or so at peace all the time honey Jesus it doesn't mean we perfect and we literally don't have troubles but when we do go through those struggles we know that we got God by our side. That goes for anyone. Like, let that be some encouragement to you to lean on God and to understand like, hey, I might be going through whatever it is, this or that, but I got God by my side. I know he's going to work it out. I know he's going to help me through whatever I'm dealing with. Let that be some encouragement to you, some motivation to you to keep on going, to keep striving for better keep striving and going after your dreams whatever dream God has placed on your heart keep going never give up and the one thing I one thing I want to say is the fact that the last tip is don't forget to smile don't forget to smile I look crazy when I did that but no seriously you never know what your smile can do to someone you never know what it's about to do for someone you smile at somebody when you're going through the grocery store or you're at the mall. You never know that smile could really make someone say like, oh, that person smiled at me. She's really nice. She's kind. That was very courteous and generous of her to do. Like, that was very generous of her to do or him to do. You never know what a smile could do for someone. A giving hand, let's like say you want to give to someone. You want to help someone. 
whatever it might be you just never know what that can do so let it be a form of encouragement to understand that you are a walking light your smile your testimony the fact that you are God's child the fact that you are God's creation all four or five of those things literally show and exemplify the fact that you are a walking light your star let your light shine like it says in the bible to show the glory of god to show who god created you're beautiful you're amazing you are love 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 i love you god loves you you're going to get through whatever you're going through just believe that you are a walking light upon this earth you are a light on this earth you're amazing you are greatness greatness is coming remember that Remember that you're going to get through whatever you are dealing with. Your testimony is amazing. It may not be perfect. It may not be, you know, something like that. A whole change, a whole 360 change. Your testimony can be something simple. Oh, I struggle with confidence or low self-esteem issues. Or it could be you struggle with mental health issues. You dealt with childhood trauma. I don't know what your story is or what your testimony is. But what I do know is that God is good. He is so good and he's going to help you to get through whatever you're dealing with, whether it's from the past and whether you're dealing with present issues. He is there for you. He's your support system. He's everything. So never give up. You walk in light. Never give up and say that you are light. Because of Jesus and because of God. So, this is some encouragement for you guys to keep on going, some motivation for you guys to keep on going throughout the week. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some bonfire and lit content from your girl. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.